Welcome to the Pliant How-To Series. I'm Dave Hegenbarth, and today we're going to take a look at a little more complex VMware automation. We'll start where we left off in the simple automation with a block that lists all of our VMs and assigns those VMs to a result. And if I run this particular workflow that we've already previously built, we'll see that the result is an array of 214 objects or virtual machines. And then we'll see for that particular object, this is information returned from the vCenter API call we made list VMs, we see a number of different object values, memory size, the VM ID, VM name, and a CPU count. So what if we wanted to just list the virtual machines that had more than, say, two CPUs? Well, we would need to loop through the data that we have here. So we'll use a for each block out of the, the common blocks in Pliant to do that loop. We'll grab a for each block and we'll put it right here. Remember, we can name blocks and this helps with the logic. So I can come in here and say, I can just call this block simply each VM because that's really what we're going to do. We're going to loop through each VM and evaluate whether or not the CPU, is, the number of CPUs is greater than, than two. We need to know what we're looping through and I think we'll take the output here of result. This is the array of data. So we're saying loop through the array of data in the variable called result. And then we can see by the down chevron what this block is going to return. It's the index, the item, break, count, the first, a Boolean variable of is this the first value in the array or the last value in the array. And what we're really interested in is simply evaluating each item. We, we can now evaluate that with an if block. So I can drag over the if block inside the for each loop. And we're gonna say, if item, now, which item are we looking for? Well, if we go down to our results, we can see that we really are interested in the item or the object CPU count. So we're gonna say this dot CPU count is greater than two. So this should give me all the virtual machines that have more than two CPUs. Now we wanna assign the result of this statement and so that we can see it as an output variable. So first we need to instantiate a variable, uh, VMs over to CPU, and we need to mark the, out, the variable as output. We know this is gonna actually be an array of data, so I can even declare by using the little square brackets that this is an array of data. And because it's an array, we're gonna to need to use, uh, instead of a sign block, we're going to use the array push block. So we'll come up here, we have array push. And now we'll define that, or we'll use the array we defined up top. So that was the VMs over two CPUs array. And the item's gonna be the output of this block, this item. Actually, the, the item that we're on in the loop, I'm sorry. So then we specify this as our item. I'm gonna go up and make sure that I made that an output variable. I did, so that's, so we should get an array of virtual machines. I'll, I'll uncheck results so we don't see those. So all we should get is an array of virtual machines that have more than two CPUs. So I'll click run. And we'll see here that we now have an array of 36 virtual machines. And if we look into any of these, we can see that the CPU count is definitely more than two. Now we've entered a bit of logic into our workflow, and there may be a better way to visualize this. In the upper uh, taskbar here, you can see we have sequence or flow view. If I click to flow view, this will allow me to better see the logic that we've implemented. So here you can see the flow view of that same workflow. We're listing the vCenter VMs, we're populating the array, we're looping through each VM, 
and we're evaluating whether or not that VM has uh, more than two CPUs. You can see that expression right here. If so, we do an array push, and then when the loop is finished, we end. So this has been a quick look at how we can add some logic to our automation to loop through all of the virtual machines in vCenter and pick out the ones that have greater than two CPUs. Mm -hmm.